Hello, this is Sam Fari in ADAP Land. I'm an instructional designer here in New York, and I'm going to show you around ADAP a little bit, the admin portal, the learners app, and some terminology we use here at ADAP. Okay, so this is the admin portal. This is where admins, authors, reviewers can log in to access and control the elements behind the learners app. And this includes the authoring tool, user setup, maintenance, course allocation and reporting. So this is really the dashboard for the admin. Um, the learners app I will show you here, this is what it would look like on a mobile phone, but people can also use the desktop version. Uh, the learners app is the app on a learner's device where learners can access courseware. They can also use the uh, web version, like I said, on the website. Okay, so some terminology here. These would be called courses. Um, it, at EdApp, we have courses and we have lessons and lessons sit within courses. When a course or lesson is a draft, and if I click here, I can make it a draft, um, only admins will be allowed to see it. Okay, so this is how you publish a course. This is a flick of a wrist and there it is published. Um, it, when a lesson is published, it'll be accessible to all users who've been granted access to it via their user group assignment or to all users if the access rules are on universal access. So if I click on, let's say, gender bias and click on access rules, here I could decide universal access or I could select a user group from the list. A big question we get is about lesson structure. And I would just say the rule of thumb is if you want your learner to progress on prior knowledge, to start with the basics, the fundamentals, the definitions, and work your way up. So you can build on those definitions and ideas and lessons should progressively get a little more difficult. Um, if you want to see, I, I also suggest this, this new feature that we have, and that is to create a discussion in which you would just have a prompt here for people to uh, respond to, and you can actually require them to submit at least one comment and post to a user to complete that uh, discussion. The discussion would count the same amount of as, as a lesson in the completion rates, and it's just a great feature to get things going. We also have the assignments feature in the same way as the drop down menu on the create lesson button. And that is something where the admin can pass or fail a, uh, actually we don't use fail, we say try again uh, on a uh, response to a prompt. Okay, thanks, I'll see you in the next video.